The missile launcher will now be placed over a pre-surveyed launch point. The launcher was towed into position by the two and a half ton erector servicer truck. Here, the battery executive officer is giving instructions for the precise positioning of the launcher over the pre-surveyed site. The firing battery used its 5-ton wrecker truck to position the launcher. In the following scenes, the launcher will be raised slightly in order to remove its towing wheels and axle assembly. After removal of the wheel assembly, the launcher was then lowered back to the ground. Next, the launcher was precisely leveled. The four launcher support pads were precisely adjusted by sighting in on four leveling bubbles. Servicing section personnel next unloaded and assembled the lightweight H-frame and A-frame equipment. The H-frame and A-frame equipment was transported on the bed of the two and a half ton erector servicer truck. The use of the H-frame created the proper alignment and distance between the launcher and the 10 ton capacity winch located on the bed of the erector servicer truck. This alignment and distance was critical for raising the missile to its vertical firing position. Next, servicing section crewmen will rig the steel cable running from the 10-ton capacity winch 
to the top of the rotating A-frame. The winch was located just behind the cab of the Erecta Servicer truck and was operated by the Erecta Servicer truck driver. Here we see the Erecta Servicer truck and the completed H-frame and A-frame assemblies. The crew will now engage a cable traveler mechanism to precisely wind the steel cable onto the winch drum. The 10-ton capacity winch was then operated to pull the rotating A-frame assembly to the vertical position. The block and tackle rigging seen here suspended from the apex of the A-frame was used for missile assembly.